Within a matter of minutes, the Albuquerque Police Department received approximately 30 911 calls from employees within inside the business at Building 2, employees from Building 1, and people who were in the area who were in the process of self-evacuating. As those original officers responded to the scene, obviously a, uh, a very chaotic scene. Uh, one of the things uh, that uh, officers encountered were uh, employees that who had sheltered in place. There were employees that were found that had locked themselves uh, within rooms within the interior of the building, employees hiding under desks. Uh, immediately when the first shooting began, through a series of interviews, there were employees trying to that were outside the building trying to get in and employees inside the building trying to get out. So obviously a very uh, chaotic state for everybody. It appears that uh, just prior to going inside of the, uh, the building, after uh, shooting the first three victims outside, he did reload his firearm uh, outside. We did find a magazine out there uh, that shows that he did have uh, intent to uh, to commit these crimes through the fact that he did reload his ammunition. It appears that as he was going through the interior of the building, he was actually looking for something or someone. At some point in time, he actually entered into the cafeteria in the building, which was occupied by employees. Uh, he looked around, but then exited the area, and then went back into the office area in which he had actually shot the window out to enter into the building. At that point in time, we don't know if he saw those first responders, uh, and was unable to, to make an escape, uh, but for some reason while in that office building or in that office, uh, he took the handgun that he had and shot himself one time in the head. That's where he was located deceased.